Three down and one to go as the 21st century Panlong Conference nears to a close. The past three days have been nothing short of a historic milestone in the 68 years of Myanmar's history since independence from the British. Not since the original Panlong Conference has so many different ethnic groups come together in the spirit of peace and unity. Today was the last day of the closed door sessions where members of the government, military, ethnic groups and political parties had a chance to express their ideas for the future of Myanmar. Although many different viewpoints were expressed, peace and the need to build a true federal democratic union were the dominant themes. Also today, the government issued an apology to the United Wa State Army after their hasty walkout due to the mismanagement of ID cards which left the Wa feeling unfairly treated and discriminated against. Despite the Wa walking out on the conference, hopes were still high and the atmosphere was cordial. Secretary General of the KNU, Sa Kui Tu Win, had this to say about the conference. Yes, I think that according to our schedule, our plan, uh, we are going well, going smoothly. Yeah. Over the last three days, many stakeholders have had their chance to speak, except for one of the most vulnerable in society, the disabled. Activists for the disabled, Mr. Nylin So of Myanmar Independent Living Initiative, had this to say about taking part in the conference. So, yeah, we went to, uh, you know, to see a lot of participation from other different disabled people organizations, not only just in the conference, but also in every you know, level, decision making, you know, discussions and everything. We have a lot of laws and you know, policies in the country, but some laws and policies stay, make the limitation and restriction for the participation of people with disabilities. Now that day three is over, everyone is looking forward to the closing ceremony. Raymond Pagnuco reporting for Lima Charlie.